Tonight, a closer look at the dangers of Glock switches, devices that law enforcement officers say convert handguns into machine guns. There's a pushback to ban Glock switches on a state level. Today, law enforcement officers show the power behind Glock switches. WSFA 12 News anchor Sally Pitts has more. You can hear the difference. A gun without a Glock switch and one with a Glock switch. Glock switches make guns capable of firing multiple rounds in a few seconds. This has nothing to do with uh, your constitutional rights. This is all about destruction. Montgomery County Sheriff Derek Cunningham says Glock switches pose a threat to the community. Law enforcement officers put on a demonstration to show the power and danger of the devices. And if you went down and you seen the targets after uh, the, the weapons were fired and you see no bullet holes in, in the targets. You can't control it. Can you imagine if that's in your community? Law enforcement officers say these devices are in our communities. Neighbors report hearing them daily. The devices not only make the guns capable of firing more rounds more quickly, but they are also difficult to control, even for trained law enforcement officers. You can only imagine what it's like in the hands of a 17-year-old or an 18-year-old. All across this state, we've had children that have been shot in their beds. We've had grandmothers that have been shot in their homes. Law enforcement officers are asking the legislature for help. State Representative Philip Insler has once again sponsored legislation to ban Glock switches. For those who say that they, they back the blue, that they support law enforcement, uh, this is a way to put those words into action. Knowing that we got our loved ones, our deputies, our, our officers pulling over cars, knowing that people can get out of a vehicle with these type of devices on a weapon, uh, no. Glock switches are already banned at the federal level, but supporters of the state bill say the federal indictment process can take months and that a state law could allow law enforcement to work more quickly. Sally Pitts, WSFA 12 News. Officials also say they are now seeing Glock switches made with 3D printers, making it cheaper and more accessible.